Hello everyone, in this video we're going to play Crusader Kings 3, this is the first time I'm playing it, just keep in mind, I had a problem launching this one on Xbox Game Pass, because I was using, uh, I have AVG, um, Antiverse, and they actually pop up something, and I couldn't even see it, so I played Window, I set up to launch in Window, by the way I run it as admin, I created a shortcut, run it as administrator, and then make it Window, and then I saw the pop-up window, and then I told AVG, uh, to allow it, but keep in mind, AVG by default will block it. So we need to change something in AVG to give you permission to decide whether you should allow or disallow. So that's what I did, and now it works. Uh, so we're gonna try uh, a new game. Um, all right. The reason I'm using the uh, music because sometimes you know uh, just get copyright claims, so I'll just use the music. But the game comes with music. Keep this in mind. All right. Uh, I'm gonna play the tutorial. Um, well, like you said, it's a deep strategy game of dynasties and intrigue. If you are new to the world, we strongly recommend you play tutorials. All right, of course, we want to play tutorial. All right. All right. Your medieval ruler land is yours for the taking through clever marriage and diplomacy, or by the wave of the sword. There is no way to win in Crusader Kings, only different ways to enjoy the story that unfolds. There's no one way. Ah, there's no one way to win for, for a second. I thought there's no way to win. All right. Uh, camera basics. Use WSD is to move the camera across the map. You also move the cursor to the edge. All right, so we can move the cursor to the edge or WSD. Uh, pressing the home key takes you to your realm capital. Well, I can't see the home key. You mean the keyboard home key? Let me just check. Uh, all right, pressing home key takes you to the realm capital. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, see. Let's go here and the pressing home key. Oh, it's not home key. It's the keys. Ah. Uh, I do home. I think I use Namlock. No, I don't know. We'll see it later. We'll see about it later. Um, zoom in and out. Use the mouse, and you can zoom in and out. Oh, this is nice. All right. Uh, different information displayed: digital map, political map, paper map. Ah, all right. Depend on the zoom levels. Ah, all right. Oh, this is really cool. Uh, zoom in. You have the ability to select and manage your holdings. Zooming out gives you an overview of the realms. All right, next. Crusader kings span over hundreds of years and many generations. Right now, there's a standing still because of the game is paused. For this part of the tale, we keep the game paused. All right, no problem. All right, this is play pause. All right, next. Sometimes you will see blue highlight tags like this. This means you have over your cursor over the words more information. All right. Some of these words can lead to other highlighted words, which can lead to some even more information. Duchy. Ah, uh, yeah. Title. Ah, woo! Alright. Place your cursor over this highlighted text. Over the highlighted phrase inside. A what? Over, over the highlighted phrase inside the lighted text I can't do this <laughs> oh <laughs> all right I'm gonna do it slow good job all right next all right now let's talk about the game everything takes place on a map before you the world consists of large and small pieces of land each belonging to someone based on their titles a title is essentially a certi uh, certificate of land ownership. All right. Your titles are represented by icons with elaborate cost of arms. Hmm? The icon represent your the icon representing your realm is set by your primary title, which is the most important prestigious title that you hold. Uh, this is my primary title, so this is the one. 
Pity Kingdom of Monster. Ah, so I have two titles. This one, ah, this is a primary title. All right, so on land. So on this one, let me just move a bit here. Oh, I can see. So I own this one, and also okay. But this is my land, right? This is my land. All right. Um, okay. Primary title is the Miss Prestigious. All right. If you click your character portrait, I let it in the character view. Uh, the borders of your realm capital will light up. What? What do you mean? My portrait? Where's my portrait? Ah, alright. Yeah, this. Alright. Alright. Light up. Outside of that, it will the borders uh, of your entire realm. Outside of that, will be the borders of the entire realm. Monster is your primary title, which is why your realm is named after it. You can also hold the Ildom of Thalmod as a separate title. If you zoom out, it will read monster on the part of the map because you are the top ruler of this area. Ah. Doesn't read. Where is it? Ah, if you zoom out. If you zoom out. Ah, yeah, I see it. Monster. Ah, alright. You see? So this is my title. Alright. Alright, now I understand. I understand. Let's continue. As a ruler, you can only hold such land on your own. You will often have other rulers helping with the administration of the realm by holding land within your borders, making them your vassals. Who have sworn fealty to another ruler. Alright, so there's like my slaves. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, they are doing things for me. Alright. Um... So these are Bishop of Colnell, Barnory of Liberer, and City of Ines. Oh, actually, no. Ah, the holder, no. The holder, you. Ah, Mayor Delgus of Ines. So Bishop Arnivid, but I don't know how to read this. Mayor Tor of. Alright, alright. Uh, to find your own land, your domain, press the home key. Home key and zoom. Where is the. Home? I can't, it doesn't do anything. Ah, you can, once close up, you can see blue labels of the baronies belong to you. Baronies are the lowest rank titles. Ah, okay. The Elderum firm is held by your vassal. Elderum of Ormond. Alright. But let's do with the home button. Let me see if I can find what to do with this. So if I use a fun let's just go here and press function. Ah, all right, function. I need to press function. All right, and home button. All right. In case of my computer, I don't know. All right, I understand. Let's go. You are playing as one of the many characters in the world represented by character avatars. Your character is the ruler of the realm. You will need to make sure that your dynasty survives and thrives throughout the ages. Your titles give you power and control over territory and other characters who might hold titles and land of their own. Click on your character. All right. Characters have skills indicating their proficiency within a certain field. All right. Diplomacy, martial, excellent. Stewardship, all right. Learning, terrible, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> the main skills are diplomacy, martial stewardship, intriguing, learning, measuring characters, literacy, and wisdom. <laughs> I see, it's not that smart. Why do you give it this stupid one? Uh, remember, since there are highlighted text, you can mouse ah, diplomacy, representing characters' ability to charm, martial. All right. Next, characters also have traits which affect skills 
as well as how they react to things. These are distributed by icons on your character view. All right. All right. So this gives me diplomacy, martial ah, minus. All right. So this directly affects this. All right, and other stuff. All right. All right. Some traits tell you about a character's personality, like fecal, calm, and generous. Other traits are specific to how a character has lived their life, such as education trait or commander traits. All right. Personality trait. This is the old personality traits. All right. From this, you can see that your character typically lives a modest life, but expect others to do so also, and is quick to anger when they want when they don't. Uh, let me see. Um. Impatient. Personality impatient. Oh, this is things the more things should happen fast ideally they should happen now hostile all right so this is impatient both one and temperate all right that's why all right this is uh all right this is nice uh, when a character chooses to behave against their personality traits it causes stress all right Traits can also impact how other characters react to you. Some people are impressed by the brave trait, while others lose for cover is more likely to feature. All right, now, people are different. Traits influence other characters' morality and greed, which can affect both their friendly and hostile actions. All right, all characters, yes, all have an opinion of one another, which drives their behavior. What is this one? Low opinion can cause people to rise against you or be unwilling to help you. High opinion can, on the other hand, make characters more inclined to join your murder scheme or fall for your seduction. How you choose to interact with other characters will often affect their opinion of you. What is this one? Father. Person. Personal diplomacy. Ah, Brian's, Brian's opinion of you. Ah, it's very high. All right. Players here. Ah, this is my area. All right. So, all right. I understand. So this one inherited my everything, whatever I have. Huh? So it's good opinion on me. This is nice. All right. To help you further your goals, you will need gold. Among other things, gold piece for building armies and bribes gold is collected passively from both your holdings and your vassals and tax. Larger vassals and more important holdings tend to give more tax. Alright. Vassals. Alright. However, money is not all. Certain things can only be achieved by spending the right amount of prestige. Prestige. Alright or for religious matters. All right. You can see the concept of your gold, prestige, and piety in the bar at the top right. All right. Gold, prestige, piety, piety. All right. Your prestige tell us how respected you are. Right. It can be earned over time by holding lots of titles, for example, or activities such as by marrying into prestigious dynasties or fighting as an ally in wars. Whether you earn prestige, you build towards your next level of fame. Higher levels of fame makes other characters think better of you and bring powerful ways to wage war. So we need this to go up as well. Some actions cause prestige, like declaring a war. And this allows you to leverage your celebrity for your own benefit and characters won't think less of you for using them. Spending machine does not affect your level of fame progress, just your current prestige. Alright. Alright. 
uh, next. With love for piety, you will have easier time to interact with your head of faith. As you are Catholic, this is the Pope. Piety can be gained passively from the learning skill and from virtual traits, and actively from choosing to do religious things, such as going to pilgrimage. Pri pilgrimage. You also have a level of devotion, which build over time whenever you gain piety and can have positive effect for your character. Some action required you to spend. Alright, I understand. Uh, as well as traits, your characters can also pick a lifestyle. There are five lifestyles, one for each skill. Lifestyle represents what you put the most effort into day to day, and each has several focuses in survival. Right. Every focus gives you a unique bonus and makes events associated with that focus more likely to happen. Click on the lifestyle button, highlighted. Where is it? This one. Ah, okay, this is kind of a progression thing like in uh, civilization. Uh, Alright. Nice. Alright, with cool screen. Alright. Click on any lifestyle to see its focuses. Uh, as time goes by, your character will learn lifestyle experience for maintaining a particular lifestyle experience. When you cry in Night Flash XP, you can select one of the lifestyle's perks from of the trees. Alright, I understand this one. It's the second ever. <laughs> ah, alright. It's the second. Yeah, all right. Uh, perks experience you're practicing and developing yourself over time and offer unique bonus. Yeah, this is the progression. One unlocks lifestyle specific mechanics and content such as abilities to start abduction schemes. All right. Uh, as an example, uh, the strategy authority as well as the uh, uh, all right progression tree all right let's just check it out um oh so this you see the tree all right all right diplomat august family select foreign affairs focusing on foreign affairs going diplomacy this diplomacy in prestige and this is diplomacy all right we can go this one and we can select it right i understand all right let's continue now i've selected a focus we can move on to other people if you're new to this game i am interacting with other characters is key and you have many options how to do so you can right click on a character portrait including your own to get this of potential interactions such as arranging a marriage or initiating a scheme. What is a scheme? Hmm. There's also where you st start wars. But let's try something else first. Open your character view. Right click on your area character board to see interactions available. All right. Oh, right click. Oh. oh no, no, I need to go back. All right. Uh, right click on your uh, right click. Oh, oh, Whew, so many options. Uh, arrange marriage. Arrange a marriage between two characters at your own court. Find spouse. Find a spouse for Brian Brian. Press on a sway. Attempt to sway. By improving his opinion of you. Try use confirm the send gift interaction. Sell gift. Send gift. Alright, send gift. Uh, we'll accept. Gains 11 opinion on you. Minus 2 each year. Receives gift. 
All right, let's do it. Ah, pays. I'm paying 50 gold. This is the gift. All right, we did it. Oh, we can drag the window. You paid. Brian gained opinion of you. Oh, it's increased. Hmm. Well done. You've successfully increased somebody's opinion on you. It's a relationship simulator. Certain opinion modifiers last forever. Like family bonds, other will wane over time. Like defending memory of receiving a momentary gift. Yeah, it's true. If you over your cor cursor over the opinion number on another character, you can see exactly where your various numbers are coming from. It is due to the marriage alliance, a gift. All right, let's see. Oh, so we can see received gift. Ah, uh, yeah, you see received gift at the end. So this is the one. This, uh, this one. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Uh, next, let's talk about your dynasty. As the game goes on, unless your character meets with an intimidly accident or terrible disease, they will grow old and eventually die. No! My people need to die. Alright. The story doesn't end there. It's only game over if you do not have the heir of your own dynasty. But I have. As long as you have heirs of your dynasty, your legacy will live on. When your character dies, you simply start playing a new one. The player heir. Oh, this is so cool. Depending on the type of succession your realm has, this is likely to be one of your children. Perhaps one that you groomed into the role of the ruler. Your dynasty uh, has its own... By the way, this is my son. Mac Merchard, yeah, it is, I think. Yeah. It is? I don't know. Um, currently, I look at the name, it looks similar. Oh, it does see has its own coat of arms, which is currently highlighted. This one, alright. And it can be clicked for more information. You don't need to do anything with this now, but if you want to look at the details of your dynasty later, it can be found here. Alright, dynasty, alright. All right, next. Succession law determine how all titles and resources are divided between the heirs when the character dies. So you currently only have one heir, uh, but let's take a look anyway. Open the ring view on the right side of the screen. Ring view, oh, this one. Oh, so many buttons. All right. Inspect the succession, 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 tab. All right. Wow. It's easier to run a country, to be a president in the country than doing this. As a member of a dynasty, you also have your own. Shared by everyone in your dynasty. Your own goes up whenever anyone in your dynasty gets prestige and reflects how infamous, famous your family is rather than just you. All right. Make a significant stride in your re own will echo down the generation of your descendants, slowly increasing your level of splendor. Right. As the dynasty had. The more powerful member dynasty. We own will allow you to unlock dynasty legacies that will benefit you all. Unlike prestige, the own remains after the character death. Yeah, it continues. All right. Oof, wow. To ensure the future of your dynasty, you need family members. It helps if you are married, but we cannot promise that you will marry for love. Click on your character. Uh, let's get married. <laughs> let's get married. <laughs> For unmarried characters in your domain, you can set up marriage by right-clicking on the character and choosing Find Spouse or Revenge Marriage. The two options will behave differently, let's go through them both. Work it on your own character, this one, I uh, right-click, oh, select Find Spouse, alright, I mean a girlfriend. Choosing fine spouse open list of potential spouses they are held from court all over the world. 
choose arranged marriage also opens a list of potential spouses, but only with people from the court of the characters you clicked. Huh? I don't understand. A list of potential spouses they hail from courts, but only with people from the courts of the characters you click. Ah, all right. So this from all the world and this from areas. Uh, courts. What is court? Ah, all right. So I think they actually serve under them. Family, the mix of unrelated potential. Oh, yeah, I understand. All right. Okay. Your cut is visible on the left uh, because this marriage needs your approval. Whoever is the lineage of the other spouse will appear on the right side as the union will need their approval as well. Revenge marriage can be useful for matchmaking between your courtiers or for setting up specific marriage lines. For now, fine spots is more relevant for our purpose. All right. There are many factors uh, consider when choosing a spouse to help you out. There's a filter available for sorting among things you consider. There are alliance skills, personality traits, expect... Ooh! -hoo. Matchmaking. I mean with people, yeah. Uh, some traits are congenital. What is congenital? Right. Meaning they might be inherited by your children. Perhaps someone with a trait like that is a good place to start. You can change your selection by clicking the clear. Alright, so what is this one? Toggle filters. Some traits are meaning they might be inherited by your children. Perhaps someone with a trait like that. Uh, trait. With at least one good inheritable trait. Alright. Alright. Next. When you've selected two people for your marriage, you are presented with the details of the union along with additional options such as having marriage or right if you are happy get married select your spouse for your character and click send proposal um, so many screens right. oh we can do just this we can attach ah we can all right potential alliance oh it's potential alliance so yes hello Children of this marriage will be born into house bearing chance of children medium. Chance of children medium. Quick diplomacy. Oh, this is a good one. Alliances. Oh, but they don't have good military. All right. Let's send proposal. What is this one? Oh, no, no, no. Under me, please. All right. Send proposal. Oh! Greeting, Pity King, Watcher of Monster. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Will be joined with my sister, Minzia. All right. In all the whatever this means. May God grant you life and many children. Excellent. Say excellent. All right. Family is important. The player here will always come from your dynasty, and most often from your house. In the future, you won't hurt to keep an eye on your family and their line of succession, depending on their succession laws. You might end up inheriting titles along with the land from your. All right. Not everyone in your dynasty will be will be land owners, but every plot of land of the map has an owner. Sometimes that owner is you. Sometimes it's one of your vassals, and sometimes it's another realm entirely. Many of always uh, also have or are vassals. Most status are structured together in a pyramid like fashion country, duchy, kingdom, empire. Hmm. 
Every trail belongs to a title, one rank up the chain. Counting, alright, small one, kingdom, empire, the biggest, alright. Every country is technically part of the duchy. Every duchy is technically part of the kingdom. Every kingdom is part of the empire. There are many dynamic names for these titles as well, your current rule in the charge of pretty alright. Next. We say technically because as cursor kings that you play with history there's no way you guarantee that a king is actually in charge of all the titles that his kingdom is supposed to contain within its borders we call this archi de jour de jour and if the structure has been broken it is often possible to declare war over such territories if you switch to the duchy title map mob you can see that as a rule of duchy monster the county of Rai. Change to the duchy title map mode. Duchy titles. Alright. Uh, that's what I saw before. Return to realms map mode. Alright. Nice. The de jure title of monster consists monster consists of three counties yeah this one this one this one the name should be visible on the map Thormond held by you Desmond held by neighboring ruler and Ormond held by vassal ruler okay these counties are made up of smaller pieces of land called baronies. Baronies. It's on this level we find your holdings. Holdings represent settlement in your in your land. All right. <coughs> Holding provide different levels of taxes, levies. What is levies? Uh, as well as buildings that you can construct and upgrade depending on your oh this construction this is so cool it's not very important what you build right now but we suggest you just upgrade bastion quantities walls all right yeah this is like civilization all right so this is the county your county this is my county click on your capital holding and order your construction of a of a building this one, they said this one. They get taxes, they get more money. Fourth level, all right. Upgrade, I have money. Yes, I have, you can see the money here. It will take three years. <laughs> three years, but it probably goes so fast here. Uh, upgrade. We're done, sometime building be ready. So we can close this window, just a second, yeah. Oh, this is probably the upgrade. Yeah. Let's close this one. Alright, every holding provides taxes to the holder. If the holder is a vassal, they will also pay taxes to the lage. Tax provider provide you main income of gold. Yes, I understand. As a ruler, you are likely to be lage of at least one vassal. There are rules, uh, just remind me. Alright. Alright. There are rulers within your realm who have sworn fel uh, fitly to you. To you with money and soldiers. Levies, soldiers. It is possible to both be a ledge and vessel at once. Open realm view. On the right side of the screen. Alright, I opened. Current vessels along with some additional information about them. At the top of the list is a ruler of Ormond. This one. Ormond. This area. Alright. Whose land you whose land you can see on the map. Yeah is my vessel this is an 
build them, count it your title inside your realm. It's also like keeping your vessels happy. This keeps them out schemes and factions against you. No matter how mighty a ruler your character is, if your realm unites against you either to depose you through war or just murder you while you sleep. Ah, oh, they can kill you while I sleep. Your reign is bound to be count short. There's a limit on how many vessels you can comfortably be in charge before the reign becomes unwieldy. Going beyond this vessel limit affect taxes and levies provided to you. Alright. Your rim is the complete body of the land and titles that you own, including the areas and the vessels. Right now, for you, this means counties called Ildon, Ildoms, due to your Irish culture. Uh, of Sound of Ormond. When domain is used, you are instead referring to the land that you own personally without vessels. Tormond. Alright. Something alright. Next. Know that there is a limit on how much land you can hold personally before you start incurring penalties. Domain limit. Managing your rim is a lot of work. As a ruler, you have your help of your castle. This can either vessels or member of your court. You can act as your trusted advisors. Councils. Oh, it's, it's similar to civilization. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Council can be set to work, and they're also different. You can change council task by clicking the button report with council view. Alright, schemes are long term goals aimed to another character. They can have hostile goals like murder, abduction. Ooh, open the, this one. Schemes. No other schemes in progress. Alright, next. A good one to use scheme might be you find line of succession not being as clear cut as you like. One way to get ahead is to simply remove the competition <laughs> quietly and we don't fit the side of scheme. Oh my god. Nice. Uh, the sway scheme is made for increasing the opinion someone has of your character. Let's try it out. All right. Backing on your court chaplain, your bishop, and choose sway. Sway. All right. Excellent. Once set in motion, your scheme will slowly progress over time. The time before uh, conclusion is reached will vary depending on its success chance. Our uh, engineering will probably also takes place here, which can be affected by relevant skills. In this case, effect. Oh, actually, no. It's all affected by what you have. All right. Open the intrigue. Uh, inspect the skin tab. Oh, next, all right. Sometimes skin can give rise to secrets. If you s catch someone trying to commit murder, it's probably the best interest to make sure you keep it quiet. You can also blackmail them to gain. All right, blackmail is cool. Inspect the hooks, the secret tab. We don't have anything. You have gained a favor hook on Earl. Oh. This weak hook can be used for a number of things. One is to increase the obligation set by the feudal contract you have with. Uh, all right. War is essential a part. Let's go to wars. So the most important thing, battles which are fought by armies. Armies. That's my armies.
When it was that you'll be able to raise your armies from the screen via the raise of armies. When war is over, you will have to disband your soldiers before starting another war. Stop war, you need to legitimate reason, a cause against another ruler. There are various ways to obtain a cause of well, you might have I can't just attack them. Alright. First it's important to know that there are five different speeds available. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, be able to pause. To start taking your time and pause the game. Let's go. Now it's ooh. It's first task, let's remind your uh, your neighbor, the Earl of Desmond, who is what for legs truly is. If it happens to expand your realm, so be it. Using the character what is this one? Character interaction over Elia and selecting him via the map. Declare war on the ruler of Desmond. You should already have a valid cause's belly and this title is the jury is part of the real realm. Okay. Wedding celebration. With my marriage Let my subject enjoy the festivities without worry or care. Who pays for their own wedding? Alright. So let's do this. Um, declare one on Earl Desmond. On this one, right? Declare war. Says. Let's do this. Let's go to war. Nice. You said declare war. Next you should rally your armies. A button has appeared at the bottom of your screen to help you, but you can also do this from your military team. Raise all armies. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Oh, they're already fighting. Victory. Captured. All right, it's ours. You specifically declare war. All right, I understand. To move your army, left click on the army and right click on the area you want them to go. Perhaps the animal capital barony. Oh. My night trade has been wounded. And his flesh has scrounded flushes and swelling. If the right kind of treatment is administered, therefore he should make it. Alright. So I can tap this one and go to Barony. Where is Barony County? Oh, where did you. What? Ah, oh, it's not this one. Yeah, this one. Alright. Now that your army is moving, it's probably heading <coughs> into battle with enemy forces. This can be head of encounter with other enemies side of the sage. To get an idea of winning war, you can always look at the war score in the lower right corner. At 100% war score, you can force the other side to accept a peace offer. You can force yourself to accept the peace offer, alright. 
but this is 20%. We are far from winning. Ah, next. All wars end in one three ways. Victory, white peace, defeat. See the dates moving at the bottom? So fast. So much time has passed and nothing happened. Seven months ago, war score is still 19. Uh, this one, you already won. Right. Oh, what happened? Oh, the war score is 100%. Maybe to use enforce demands of the enemy ruler. Right click on the character, offer a piece. Or click on the war score to open the game menu. Becomes your vessel. All right, show. All right, pants can fame. All right, and post demands. Yeah. All right. So he is now our vessel. All right. So be it. Now this is ours. Nice. For now, we'll stop the travel lesson. All right. So this is woo. What a tutorial. All right. Well. This is the tutorial, I continue playing, but if you just wanted to know what this game is all about, well, I think this long tutorial kind of explained things, so, uh, of course, we're just starting out, there are plenty more options, as you can see, there are many things you can do, you can have... Alright, so this is it for this video, I continue playing, uh... And probably gonna share highlights because it's a long game, so probably gonna share you know the highlights of the you know and explain more things about the game as I play because I'm new to this game. Keep this in mind. Uh, this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, more coming, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and give it a like if you enjoyed. I see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.